Good afternoon from California. So we just got back from our week-long trip to Utah, and right now the fridge is empty. So we definitely need to pick up some groceries for the week. So come along with us. But before we get started, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Yes, I locked the door. Now we can go. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not very good. Okay. So we had so much fun on our week-long trip to Utah. We did a little bit of house hunting, which we didn't make any decisions on. We visited lots of parks, visited family, and each of the kids got a chance to choose the fun that we did. Although, we did run out of time for Mackenzie, so don't worry. We'll be going back to Utah pretty soon and she's gonna get a chance to have her special day. So stay tuned for that. We're almost to Costco now. I've been working on my list, trying to figure out what I wanna make for breakfast and for dinners. I definitely wanna to try to fix healthier things because when we're traveling, we don't always have the opportunity to eat the healthiest and I'm feeling it. Hi guys. Hi. Are you ready to go in? Yeah. No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff, and no falling over. <laughs> okay? Okay. Let's go. Look, Mom, new kids cups, and you can put stuff like right on top. I'm super excited to get some more kid water cups. They're only $10.99 right now. And these actually have a compartment for snacks. Too. So you can put little snacks on top. Pretty cool. Look at this, you guys. Back to school backpacks already. I am not ready for back to school. Are you ready? No. No, it's still summer. Did you know that they have back to school backpacks over there? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go back to school already? No. Whoa, you guys, look at this beautiful table. I love it. Kenzie, can you do this? <laughs> you guys are so funny, come on. <laughs> Ooh, is it good? Huh. It's hot. <laughs> You're giving him funny ears. Uh, is it good? Uh, Genzie. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but every time I come here, they're out of rotisserie chickens. Not, oh, they're putting them out right now, cool. Is your sample good? Mm -hmm. What is it? Sandwich. Ooh. These are so good. Yeah, we got to try these in Utah and they are delicious. It's fruit sorbet and it's actually packaged in the fruit that it comes in. So the orange one's inside an orange rind, the lemon one's in a lemon rind, and the coconut one is in a coconut shell. These are so good. I highly recommend these but I think they'll melt before we get them back to our house. Uh-huh. Maybe next time we'll bring the cooler, the ice chest, and we can put them in there and they won't melt. Okay. So next time. It wouldn't be a trip to Costco without a stop at the bathroom. Okay, friends, it is almost 9 p.m. right now and I'm just now getting to the hall, even though we got home around six o'clock. My parents came over and I really wanted to visit with them, so I quickly threw all of the frozen items in the freezer. And now that they're gone, I'm finally ready to get it all back out and share it with you guys. We ended up going to Costco, and then I ran to the grocery outlet just by myself, which was so nice. Now, if you're not familiar, the grocery outlet is kind of like an Aldi, where things are a little bit discounted, and you kind of never know what you're gonna find. It's always changing. But I'll go ahead and show you the things from Costco first, starting with the non-food items. Back here I picked up four new water bottles for the kids. I'm usually a big fan of the Contigo cups. They work out really well. But these ones are a little bit different and hopefully we'll like them. These have a little snack container built in. So hopefully it'll work out really well and won't just be a piece that gets broken immediately. I'll let you guys know whether they last or not. And then moving over here, I did get a new set of brooms with a dustpan. You know, I was looking at these really fancy vacuums, cordless vacuums at Costco. 
And then I decided to go with a good old fashioned dustpan and broom because it was only $8, you guys. And like I said, it came with an inside and outside one and the dust pan as well. Behind that, I picked up a big package of TP and I also got a package of AAA batteries. Moving over here, I also picked up a big package of the paper towels. I like the Costco brand, they're a little bit cheaper. And again, I try to use these sparingly because they're not cheap either. Moving back over here, the last non-food item that I picked up is a big bottle of Cascade. This is my favorite dish soap right now, and it was on sale. Now moving on to the food items, we really tried to stock up on our fruits and veggies this time, starting with a big bag of broccoli, definitely my kids' favorite vegetable. I also got a big bag of asparagus. I love to roast this in the oven with some garlic and olive oil, salt and pepper. It's really good and simple. We got a big bunch of bananas and my favorite kale salad. This is so good. Right over here, I have a new kind of dip this week. This is the Mediterranean bean dip and it's actually white bean with basil. So instead of hummus like we normally get, we decided to give this a try. They were actually sampling it in the store and all the kids loved it. I also picked up a new salad dressing this time. This is the strawberry poppy seed and it's actually a yogurt, Greek yogurt based dressing so it's a little bit lighter on calories and it just sounds really good and fresh for the summer. I also picked up another box of almond milk. I go through one of these probably every two weeks or so. I've been cutting back on it recently. And then behind that, I have a big package of the sea salt multi-grain tortilla chips. These are on, still on sale right now for about $3.99 for this big bag. Over here, we got some pirate booty. My kids love this. And I like, I like that this bag is resealable so it stays fresher and longer. And this was about $3.99 for this bag. We also got some of our favorite five cheese tortelloni. This is about $10 and this will feed my family for like two dinners at least. And of course my chicken. I lucked out this time because the last two times at Costco they were all sold out of chicken. So I grabbed one this time. I like to put these in tortillas or on salads for a really quick meal. Now for our fruit, I opted for frozen fruit this time. It's such a better deal cost-wise. So we got a big bag of the mixed fruit. This is mangoes, strawberries, pineapples, and peaches. And then Lily requested blueberries. She loves a blueberry smoothie. And I love to sneak some spinach in there, but don't tell her. Then Mackenzie requested some tamales. So we got the chicken ones. And these actually have quite a few in here. And we like to freeze them. So we'll take out one package and freeze the rest. Back over here, I picked up a big box of pineapple. This has eight cans and this is also on sale right now. And we also got a big bag of this zucchini squash. I like to make zucchini noodles and pan saute them with some garlic and olive oil. It's really good. Back over here, I got a big watermelon. We got a double pack of the cheese. This cheddar jack kind is new for my store, so hopefully it'll be good. Oh yes, and one whole bag will go right into the freezer. Cheese freezes beautifully, especially when it's already shredded. We got some avocados, some kiwis. Mackenzie was requesting these. We got some of our favorite basil pesto, and this was actually $2 off right now, so that's a great deal. We got some of these eggs. Lily was requesting some pineapple sausage. These are her favorite. And then I think that's everything from Costco. Moving on over to the things from the grocery outlet. I got two cans of this really yummy soup. This is the Cajun red bean and vegetable soup. Definitely one of my favorites. It's a little bit lighter on calories, but full of protein, and it's really quick and easy for lunch. I also got a box of the vitamin C, and then I got some things to try. These look really interesting. These are organic energy chews. So there's not like caffeine in them, but they do have electrolytes and carbs and B vitamins. So I thought I would give those a try. And then I also got four of these naked bars and these are gluten-free and dairy-free. They're basically a date. Dates and cashews and raisins. So it's kind of like a healthier treat. And I'm super excited about these. I love Indian food in general. These are chicken cashew curry meals and it comes with the naan bread and the basmati rice. So yeah, I hope these are good. They look delicious. And then for the family, I picked up these. These are fully cooked mild Italian sausage slices. I like to throw these in a pan with peppers and onions and serve it over noodles or rice. It's quick and easy. 
Not my favorite, but the kids liked it. And now for my husband, I picked up this package of gluten-free spinach. They're kind of like raviolis, cheese and spinach ones with artichokes. So he can have these on the night that I make these for the kids. I think that'll work out perfect. Back over here, I picked up two boxes of mac and cheese. We normally like the Annie's brand, but this one's a little bit different because it's made with whole wheat pasta. So hopefully the kids will like it. I just picked up two boxes just in case they don't like it. Back over here, we got something for Taco Tuesday. These are white corn taco shells, but these are different because it includes some chia seeds. So it sounds really good. I also picked up two of these frozen meals. These are the cheese and bean enchiladas with a green sauce. And these were $1.99 and they were also buy one get one free. So that's a really good deal. And I'll probably have these for lunches, just a quick lunch. And then I also picked up some club crackers for lunches. And then I was super excited to see these. I love coconut water, and I especially love it when it's not from concentrate with no sugar added, but usually those are really expensive. So I was happy to find these at the grocery outlet for just $2 each. Back over here, I also got two roasted chili rellenos dinners. I like that these are gluten-free, so my husband can have them as well. I like the ones from Trader Joe's, but they're kind of expensive. So I was happy to find these for just 99 cents. Hopefully they'll be good. And then I also got a bunch of household items, starting with some new shampoo and conditioner for myself. I've never tried this particular one, but I do like the Yes To brand. It's a little bit more natural. This is the coconut shampoo and the coconut conditioner. It smells so good. It smells like summer. And I also got the Yes To blueberries, and this is a daily cleanser for fine, line and fine lines and wrinkles, which I definitely could use these days. So it's kind of a more natural facial cleanser. Then I also got this Pantene three minute miracle for myself. My hair's been super dry recently, so hopefully this will get it back into shape. And then for the kids, I picked up this Aussie shampoo, and it's shampoo, conditioner, and body wash all in one. And I really like this one because there's no dyes, no silicone, and no paraben. So it's a little bit better for them. And then lastly, I picked up a little pack of socks just to keep in the car. There were so many things that I wanted to do with the kids while we were in Utah, like the bouncy house park, the trampoline park, and bowling. And usually during the summer, I don't wear socks. I just wear sandals. So I want to keep these in the car just in case we stop at a place where I need socks. So yes, these are my emergency socks. And I'm not quite sure why these are Marilyn Monroe socks, but they are really soft and they weren't expensive. So I like that. Okay friends, that is everything in the haul today. Thank you so much if you stuck around towards the end. Let me know in the comments down below if you prefer grocery hauls that are like this or more like the last grocery haul where the kids helped me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.